In this video, I'm going to go over replacing the rear brake pads on the Nissan Altima, specifically the 2007 through 2012 model. The rear brakes on the Altima and the Maxima are nearly identical um, 2002 all the way to about 2016. Let's get started. With the car still on the ground, you're going to want to loosen up all the lug nuts, find the correct jack point on the car, lift the car up, then continue removing the lug nuts once the tire is off the ground. Pull the tire off, and I'm going to use a little bit of brake cleaner just to clean some of the brake dust off the caliper. There are two bolts that hold the caliber on, one right here on the top and the other one on the bottom. Use a breaker bar to loosen those up, break them loose, and then you can use a ratchet to finish removing the bolts. Once those two bolts are out, you can pull the caliber off the rotor. If you set the caliber down, make sure it, the weight of the caliber is not hanging on the rubber brake line. So here I use a screwdriver to pry apart the brake pads to push the piston back in. This will make room for the brand new brake pads, which will be thicker than the old ones. When that's done, you pull the old pads out, clean the caliber up a little bit if you want, install your new brake pads. One of your brake pads is going to have a pin sticking out of the back. You can see that this one has that pin. Make sure that goes on the inside. The pin will point towards your car, not out to the outside. Get both pads seated nice and firm and flat against the outside edge of the caliber. You see this little rubber plug here? Don't mess with it. I was curious if this was a set pin to keep the rotor on. Well, guess what? It's not. Um, if you mess in there with the screwdriver, it's going to release your, your parking brake shoe. So once I finally got the rotor off, just to inspect the parking brake, uh, one of the shoes was loose. Securing the shoe is the same as basically any other drum shoe setup. You find a little spring, you put the pin through the middle, uh, push it in with the screwdriver, turn it 90 degrees, and it's locked in place. Kind of Alright, here I just wanted to inspect, make sure the shoes had some material left. You know, this is only used for the parking brake. Clean it up, a little bit of... Uh, brake cleaner. I cleaned the rotor inside and also cleaned off the parking brake itself. Right, slip it back on. Then you're ready to install the brake caliber again with the fresh brake pads. Get the two mounting bolts turned in most of the way. Then you can use your ratchet to get them nice and tight.
So line the wheel up, slip it on, get all five lug nuts started. You can use a wrench to get the, each of the five lug nuts just a little bit snug before dropping it down on the ground. I usually put the weight of the car down on the tire, which keeps it in place, and then I can get everything torqued to the proper specs. Do the same on the other side, and you're done.